know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh... He's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army? If you could spare some of your sellswords. Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My sellswords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace, I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. 
I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Really going into Marine. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your arm, right? Best guess. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! 